So this will be a uh, unboxing of the ICANN MS Pro Beholder 3 axis gimbal stabilizer. Uh, it's supposed to be simple to operate, lightweight, brushless gimbals. That's primarily why I bought this was uh, anticipating uh, or presuming that the uh, motions of the gimbal will be uh, less noticeable in the audio. Um, Let's see. Nothing like a simple to read uh, manual. Huh? Says that we are to reduce fire or shock hazard. Do not expose the unit to rain or moisture. I guess you can't use this out on the ski slope then, huh? I suppose I can go get the uh, other tripod but again this was just to unbox this um, I ordered from BH photo BHP photo I guess that's who it is hey <laughs> it's a peak lamp uh, this is the universal smartphone clamp some extra batteries you know, she always wants some extra batteries. Uh, what else did they throw in here? Uh, gimbal mini tripod. Oh yeah, this is that uh, the little legs. You know that you get on the uh, the Chinese uh, All for a whopping three hundred and thirty-four dollars and twenty-four cents. So it comes in this uh, soft case, which is uh, sort of sweet. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about lightweight. Let's go check this out and see if I can actually, it's, I think it probably tells you on the box. But that definitely feels like at least two pounds. On the front. No, it doesn't say how many pounds it is on the on the front, but it definitely feels like two pounds. Um, I don't know. It's not too bad to hold. I know someone else complained about the grip because it's a knurled grip and uh, grooved grip. But my fingers fit kind of around it. First thoughts are, and it feels kind of. Kind of rugged. Uh, hopefully the motors hold up pretty well. We'll find out here in a minute. Charger. Three batteries. And a little screwdriver and a silicon pack for the dogs to eat. Uh, So the way that this P-clip works for your universal phone holder is it is just this long screw right here and you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise to loosen it or tighten it. Um, I have kind of what's left of an honor box I'm on my crappy S5 here. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, but let me, uh, let me mount this to the mounting plate. I thought there was a screw. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a quick, there's a quick, it's a quick plate. Oh, it's fancy. And apparently I guess maybe the screw only they let you only keep the screw in one place so you can't move it around. There is a little directional arrow. I'm assuming you're supposed to line it up with that directional arrow, but I guess we'll find out here in a second. There's 
a couple Allen keys in the top of that. Hang on there, booger. And I suppose that the video camera needs to go. Oh, that's going to be another issue too. Uh, if your phone is long, this won't work as well because as you'll see here in a second and they do give you a little screwdriver I suppose to oh you can mount a couple different oh I might be using this P mount wrong anyways you know as I said I'm a manly man I don't read directions but I'm thinking there may actually be another way to use this. And I'll show that to you here in a second. This will be a really long, boring, you can just skip along. Boring, crappy review of a $300 piece of aluminum that I bought. 250 I think it was 250 for the mount itself, or this gimbal part. So, quick lock. And it goes. It locked screw because it's toolless right which way does it go toolless my ass how the hell is that supposed to stop that this screw here is supposed to catch something of the sort I would say the top of my quick release latch but that screw is not long enough to actually catch anything I'm not sure what that screw is for yet course I could refer to the notes and that locks this going that way I don't know why it's screwed out so, oh that'll also lock the plane place so click that makes the thing the mount secure and if you keep screwing it this one here it will lock the plate and then this guy locks the plate this one locks it from going like that now as far as balancing that I don't think that I know they there's no way they I mean that cell phone is so awkward and there to begin with I know there's a whole madness behind like balancing it. But because the screw the screw on the screw on the the mount plate doesn't doesn't lock or doesn't slide back and forth. Although it looks like it does, maybe it only lets you slide it back and forth. If it's there, we go. That's too far, you know. I know there's, you know, there's a madness to this too. You're supposed to do it one way and then do it the other way, and I gotta take this plate off. We'll get this done, hang on. Something else I want to point out. If you buy one of these, beware, because if you try to grab it by the head, whoo! <laughs> and if you have, look, R2-D2's out of control, relax! Oh lord, yeah, I mean, it will just keep dancing. Uh, good luck, yeah. Easy there! 
Got to wrangle up your uh, gimbal. I just like saying gimbal. So, uh, my quick two cents of that. And again, if you grab it by the head, careful. She'll get out of control. So if I wasn't so dang lazy, and, and I literally it just came back from picking up two struts and coil springs for a 2013 F-150 that only has 125,000 miles on it, was bought new, and apparently there's already a cracked spring in it, along with a water pump. But that's a whole nother story and another, another spot there. Um, and, and because I'm a man, you know, I'm a man's man. I'm not going to read any instructions. Uh, and the reason the top of my head is cut off is because I, I don't know where the tripod's at right now. Uh, the whole reason that I went with this ICANN though is, and hang on here one moment. I really, eh, this is probably going to blow this out. I wanted the uh, threaded adapter for my uh, tripod. Next on the next on the list is to buy. I guess some background lights, you know. Um, a friend of mine and I are going to be working on his Volkswagen uh, bus and Volkswagen thing uh, very shortly. So um, that was one of the reasons for purchasing these items. Uh, I also do real estate and I thought that this would be a good addition to stabilizing video as I walk through houses to kind of give uh, you know a little video tours and whatnot uh, there's a great system out there called Matterport but I think it's like four thousand three or four thousand bucks and then they want to charge you for a cloud service and it just seems like dealing with picking it's like dealing with cable and cell phone companies so there is a little charging port, right? I don't know why it's focusing there, but uh, right here for that micro USB charger that came in the package. I'm gonna assume that these batteries are not charged to begin with. They say they are 2600 milliamp hour lithium ion rechargeable batteries. Uh, you know, all the good stuff uh, may explode or catch on fire if mistreated. Uh, these definitely are made in China. They are beholder batteries, which I believe is also the name it is, the name on the front of the case that I got with this uh, setup. I'm guessing plus and negative. I don't have my. Multimeter out here, do I? No, my multimeter's not out here right now. Underneath my barrage of crap, so I'm gonna guess that the middle one is probably positive based on the post layout, and the outer one is uh, the negative. Let's, uh, let's pop it into the bottom though and see if it turns on without having to charge it. I imagine that I'll have to charge it. Probably got one of those like quarter charges in it for uh, for your lithium ion lith lithium ion batteries. So the threaded piece on the end doesn't feel too bad. Uh, something else I noticed it, it may actually be a powder coat. I'm not going to scratch it up because it I paid 300 bucks for it. I know someone else can probably scratch it up, uh, you know, if they want to. But it looks like a powder coat, and not just a sprayed-on paint. So that's kind of nice. Uh, there's a charging port. It looks like or a, an accessory port on both sides. Uh, yeah, bad shadows, lights, stuff like that. 
Let's see what happens. Shine it right there. It'll make it really terrible. Uh, uh, micro USBs. Uh, display it looks like there. I'll have to edit this out later. We'll leave this for one of those clips. Hey, knock it off! Go lay down! And I can see that the LED is making the camera wave. Uh, that sucks. Little knobby joystick. I like knobs and joysticks. Mounting screw hole looks like a quarter. Yeah, I'm gonna say a quarter, three eighths on the bottom, quarter on the quarter on the side, and I think that's what it said on the, in the manual or whatever. Um, by itself, without having to do anything with it, it seems like it sits right on the right on the table. Um, and. turns on so I'm not gonna go through the balancing process right now um, you know I can there I can website the guy that you know does a demo on there he does a pretty good job going through the balance and uh, actually there's three quarters of a uh, charge on these lithium-ion batteries and yeah I guess the, the the pan performance, and I had read that already, and kind of seen that the pan performance was was slow. But boy, it is really quiet. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a lag. There's a slight hum out of the head. I don't have an oscilloscope to measure that either. But there's definitely a home out of that. Not sure if you can hear it. But I can guarantee that once the camera's on here, you'll hear it. However, you know, like I said, the construction seems pretty pretty good. The, the million, the machining, all the machining and everything. I mean this these parts all look like they're they're machined. Uh, caps even caps even sound you know like they're metal. Not a whole lot of plastic on there. I think the only thing that may be plastic is the uh, the joystick. Sorry, joystick, and that's about it for. And maybe the screen on the uh, on the display. You know, there's different modes, I guess. Uh, profile, and it actually says. I'm not sure if I can get it to focus on that. No, I'm just gonna show you the battery LED. After. But it actually, when you when you go through the modes, it does show. Uh, Show you what mode you're in. And that's about that. So I'm gonna mount the camera up. Actually, I think I'll put the cell phone on here if I can. Guess I should turn it off so it doesn't get all antsy. So as you saw there, that is one of those features that uh, has been talked about on other sites where you have to slow down. That's exactly what's going to happen with your camera on it, If I guess if it's not, not balanced right. Um, so uh, I imagine that's probably not good for whatever stop is 
is inside the servo there. But we'll see. Continuing on here with the items in this pack, if you buy this unit, and of course it's not going to focus at all, um, even though autofocus is turned on, you know. Come on. I can. And this is supposed to be the universal P holder or P clamp. Universal aluminum smart. Uh, I'm going to say that based on my first observations here, if you have a note or anything large, you're probably going to find out that you're not going to be able to fit anything in here. This is an older S5. And listen, you can give me a hard time about it, but I'm very happy with my S5. Um, let me grab the tape measure because that's it's probably a little over four inches. Uh, it's not very. It's not a very wide. It's not a very wide uh, mount, and the way this is adjusted is through a screw. Um, I mean, the construction of it's kind of nice, but I believe that the end results are going to be poor. So I have. I don't know, after a few minutes of dickering around with this, uh, the camera, the, the gimbal adapter for the phone isn't so bad, but uh, it certainly could be improved. And there are some limitations with it, because as you can see right here, you want to I guess move it in a particular direction it will probably well, I'm surprised up oh, there we go yeah so I, that's probably because I didn't have it balanced all that well either so now it's trying to overcompensate for that but I guess one of the one of the features of this is if you hold it for two seconds it'll hold that position and I don't know. I think the camera adapter was like 20 bucks. So I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. I'm on a, I'm on a budget. I have a kid in college. So I'm sure other folks get that. And really, did I, did I need this toy? Nah. Uh, it's pretty cool though. I, I, I will admit, I think the, the videos will be more stable uh, than they have been with me holding the camera to do all of the videography. Sorry, I know some people have complained about the way I speak. Uh, and nothing is written. It's just a straightforward out of the box review of the ICANN MS Pro gimbal, three axis gimbal. And I would say that for a less expensive gimbal, this was pretty, uh, this was pretty cool. I mean, you're gonna get some shaking out of it. And I'm sure I can, of any buddy out there, I can break something, screw it up. And then I'll try to take it apart and fix it. I'm sure there are a lot of folks out there like that. It is a little weird that the joystick, oh, and it is kind of heavy. Uh, if, if I had to hold this for, for an extended period of time, well, that is a little weird too. So if your phone is upside down when recording, uh, right is going left. Kind of like you're looking in the mirror, although it probably looks like it's going right. And left is going right. So that's a little different. I'm sure there's 
Some advantages and disadvantages to having a gimbal? <laughs> and uh, next time I need to go ahead and put the, the animals away. Because, hey, at least, at least if we're going to growl. Hey, come here. What do you got? What do you have? Ah, oh, stop it. Um, this table is such a mess. Next time I'll put the kids away. Come here. Do you want some cookies? weird that it is. I don't know what the heck's going on here.